The Gentiles refuse the Torah. The mountain on which Yahuwah made his revelation bears six names. It is called the desert sin because Yahuwah there announced his commandments. It is called the desert Kadesh because Israel was sanctified there. The desert Kedmut because the pre-existing Torah was there revealed. The desert Paran because Israel there greatly multiplied. The desert Sinai, because the hatred of Yahuwah against the heathens began there for the reason that they would not accept the Torah. And for this same reason is it called Horeb, because the annihilation of the heathens was there decreed by Yahuwah. For the wrath of Yahuwah against the heathens dates from their refusal to accept the Torah offered them. But Yahuwah gave Israel the Torah. He approached every tribe and nation and offered them the Torah that hereafter they might have no excuse to say, Had the Holy One, blessed be He, desired to give us the Torah, we should have accepted it. He went to the children of Esau and said, Will you accept the Torah? They answered him, saying, What is written therein? He answered them, Thou shalt not kill. Then they all said, Wilt thou perchance take from us the blessing with which our father Esau was blessed? For he was blessed with the words, By thy work shalt thou live. We do not want to accept the Torah. Thereupon he went to the children of Lot and said to them, Will you accept the Torah? They said, what is written therein? He answered, Thou shalt not commit unchastity. They said, From unchastity do we spring. We do not accept the Torah. Then he went to the children of Israel and said to them, Do you want to accept the Torah? They said to him, What is written therein? He answered, Thou shalt not steal. They said, Will thou take from us the blessing with which our father was blessed? Yahuwah promised him, His hand will be against every man. We do not want to accept the Torah. Thus he went to all the other nations who likewise rejected the Torah, saying, We cannot give up the law of our fathers. We do not want thy Torah. Give it to thy people Israel. Upon this he came to Israel and spoke to them. Will you accept the Torah? They said to him, What is written therein? He answered, 613 commandments they said all that you who has spoken will we do and be obedient all you who are of the world they could continue oh lord of the world they continued. We acted in accordance with thy commandments before they were revealed to us. Jacob fulfilled the first of the Ten Commandments by bidding his sons put away strange gods that were among them. Abraham obeyed the commandment not to take the name of, of Yahuwah in vain. For he said, I have lifted up mine hand unto Yahuwah the Most High God. Joseph fulfilled the commandment to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And when his brothers came to him, he had everything for their welcome prepared on Friday. Isaac observed the law to honor his father and his mother when he allowed Abraham to bind him on the altar as a sacrifice. Judah observed the commandment not to kill 
when he said to his brothers, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Joseph observed the law. Thou shalt not commit adultery. When he repulsed the desire of the wife of Potiphar, the other sons of Jacob observed the commandment, Thou shalt not steal, saying, How then should we steal out of thy Lord's house silver and gold? Abraham observed the commandment, Thou shalt not bear false witness, for he was a true witness and bore witness before all the world that thou art the Lord of all creation. It was Abraham also who observed the last of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not covet, saying, I will not take from a thread even to a shoe latchet. 